Hi everybody. Welcome. This is Sherry, Chair Bear Cottage. And today we're going to work on CW Planner number 26. Okay, last week we worked on number 25. I don't think I really added much to it. Uh, something in the shape of a triangle. Instructions. Here's instructions up here. A formula. It's right here. Something stenciled. I stenciled the whole background. A place. A place here. A place in the garden. And the bonus was a crossword puzzle or newspaper magazine puzzle. So here's a crossword puzzle solution to a puzzle from a magazine. Okay, and then I added, you know, there's a ticket and a little bird cage and a um, teapot or coffee pot, some flowers, a little bit of music, some ribbon up here, some paper ribbon. And that's that. So now we're ready for number 26. I still think I'm behind one, but um, we'll be catching up pretty soon. And I'll probably have an extra video coming out soon. So we'll be working on that. Okay, today what I want to do, show you, is I got more of that ink. I got, this one is called... M-I-E-L, meal. I think it's like a honey color. And this one is a like a black soot. And some kind of pink. Uh, maybe more to a rose than, than this one here that I have. And then a yellow. So I'm going to try to, you know... Um, these are three dollars and twenty two cents on um, Amazon and so I'm gonna try you know a little bit at a time to get a whole set I really love these inks so today I think I might use this color in the background the background here I'm going to add on is um, I'm going to use newspaper and newspaper. I'm going to use old book pages and a couple pieces of, uh, of uh, dictionary. We're going to collage the background. But first I thought what we do is um, see what we got here for a color. A new color. And let me get my brush. One of my brushes. I think this one will work. Let's see. I need something to brush on. Here we go. Yeah, it's pretty clean. Okay. Alright, see what we got here. For a color. Oh, it is like honey. Reminds me of bees. Okay, let's put some down the center. Alright. Along the edge here. Ooh, what a pretty, yummy color here going on. Hope everybody's doing good today. It's hot here again. Thank God for air conditioning every time. Every time it's hot. Today is 4th of July. And um, hope to have this video up and ready for you tomorrow. And hope my little dog doesn't have a heart attack from, you know, people lighting off fireworks. He's been very jumpy today. I think maybe he kind of feels something going on. Okay, so what I think I'll do is just start collaging. I think that's what we'll do. 
So, should we just kind of use big places like that? I don't know. Let's put put some up here, some over here. Yeah, let's just get started. I think I'm going to use the glue stick for this. So tell me, did you guys like the um, video last Thursday on uh, making faux vellum paper? You need to let me know if you liked that, if you saw it. If you didn't see it, I'll try to put it in the um, description below so that you can go and take a, take a look at that. It was fun. I enjoyed doing it and um, hadn't tried anything like that for a long time, so I enjoyed it a lot. Let's see. Next Thursday, I'm not sure what we're going to do. But hopefully we'll have fun doing it, whatever it may be. I have nothing new to report. Not much is going on here. Just trying to keep cool day by day, I guess. the rest of my page go. Let's cut this edge off. I'm just leaning out of frame just to put glue on the back side of the page. Bless you, my little doggy's go sneezing. Sneezing over here. Whoop. This is a pretty brittle little piece of paper. I've been trying to collect, you know, items for the next few uh, collage weeklies. This one's asking for a candy wrapper, and boy, I, I don't have a candy wrapper. I guess I have to go. That's a good excuse to go buy a, a candy, huh? <laughs> and let's see. Uh, 
then I think I'll just put this guy down here like this, maybe this way. Trim a little bit more off here. I'm trying to hit the trash can down here, but making kind of a big mess of it. <sighs> oh, goodness. All right. There we go. And a cloth in here. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, color, I think, on um, some of the edges of this paper. Beautiful color, yellow. Well, yellow, but in the yellow family, it's uh, more of a honey color. All right. Now, we need some of our items. Okay, so some of our items include a pack or road. I do have a path or a road. Oh, this is the next week. Hmm. Where did I put them? Oh. All right. Well, here's something square. Something square is my business card. So we can put that down. to find me a um, a designer to make me a logo for my share bear cottage and uh, I've looked around a little bit on Etsy but it's um it's a little bit hard to say okay let's put that down this one, I uh, went around the edge, already highlighted it with some of our ink. Okay, so let's cross that one off. Let's cross them off as we go. So that is something square. Textured paper. I have a piece of paper here. I hope you can see pretty good the um, texture of it. It's a piece of handmade paper. It's smoother on this side than it is on this side. I thought it was so pretty. I wanted to put it on here. That looks like a good spot for it right there. I'm going to get the other ink bottle. There we go. And I'm going to put the highly textured. Um, oh, I do have a pin in there. I thought it was just glue. <laughs> boy, oh boy. The glue dries so fast in this heat. Even though it isn't that hot in here. I guess it just knows. Alright, so this is art glitter glue or tacky glue. This I think is the art glitter glue. 
that. I mixed tacky glue with it. Yes, I did that. It was so runny, I couldn't use it the other way. I don't know, you know, that was my first bottle of tacky glue, of uh, art glitter glue, and so I didn't know what to do. Okay, there's the textured paper. You know, I don't have a candy wrapper, so that one I have to, you know, do something with. A path or a road and anything with a bit of yellow. Well, here's the picture I found in a magazine and it looked like a really nice path to me. So I highlighted around the edge and I think we'll put that down here. don't know how this will do with wet glue because, you know, magazine paper is um, different than other paper. There's that. Now, this is uh, the one that I have for something with the spine. This is a little booklet that I had made and has a little spine on it. The spine says journal. And so I thought I'd put that in here. I don't quite know. Maybe if I put it in the middle. Something with a bit of yellow. I think I'll put the bit of yellow up here. I'd like to get a piece of cardstock and make um, a little pocket for the little book with the spine. I think this is going to be a fast one today. I was pretty prepared for it. Something with a bit of yellow. And something with a spine right here. I want to find a piece of hard stock. Maybe I could. It's going to have to be over on this side. Maybe we could use a piece of this. And then we could tuck the little book behind there like that. Like that. And take it out. I don't know if I like that or not. Maybe maybe something like this. I think like that. I'm going to cut this little edge off. And it's highlighted. A little vintage photo because I think that was on there. Might have been walnut on there, so I'll just go around. There. There we go. And then this can kind of slide in here like a little pocket. Well, that's kind of fun. Okay, let's do that.
I just put it on both sides because I didn't put it down the spine back here because I thought possibly hmm, I like this circle I'm going to put it on here somewhere maybe like that because I thought I could just um, slide the back under it's not going to go anywhere in here in this book because do we like that i think so i put a little flower on here and drew a little stem on it i need something else on here a little green this is pretty bright green I'm going to cut a little bit of this cheesecloth I think we'll put a little bit of cheesecloth over here just to kind of and I'll dress it up a little bit. Are we liking that? Well, let's see. I want something also on... How about my butterflies? Donna, look at the butterflies. We have some pretty butterflies in here. Wow, look at this big, beautiful butterfly. Ooh, that dresses us up quite a bit, doesn't it? Let's put some of this cheesecloth over here. Normally I use some, um, oh, just the glue stick to put cheesecloth on. I thought I'd try this. We'll squish it up a little bit. I think that will work. There we go. Press it down. Mm. We need some more under here. I like to get some flowers under here. There we go. Maybe a little down here. I think I like that. Okay. Let's um Before we look at the butterflies, let's look and see what we've got for some flowers. Have some flowers. Oh. I have some flowers cut. Here, huh? these are very vibrant. I think these are Tim Holtz flowers. This won't. Well, it could go on here like this way. Oh, I like that already. And maybe some flowers down here in the bottom on the other side. Oh, I like those too. Do I like these better? Yeah. Nope. How about? No. Nope. Uh, I think I'm happy with those. Okay. Let's do that. I think we'll put a little bit of this 
under this right here on top of the this paper. doing the edges a little bit knocking a little bit of that bright white off alright wow I think that looks pretty nice do with my wiping cloth. I had a nice dry one out. Oh, there it is. Here it is. I just press down. Okay. Over here. <laughs> I don't need a very big piece. Uh, trying to take that rolled edge off there. Make it a little bit more delicate. Let's see, take some of this off too. that but I think I use my glue stick and then this guy down. Oops, almost forgot. Almost forgot to do the edges. This is starting to look like a garden. I'm liking it. Yeah. Okay, so it goes down here. Very nice. Very beautiful. Boy, that Tim Holtz. Right? He has some amazing items. Now, I think I'd like to have some pearls on on that flower. Mm, let's see what we got here. I do have some pearls over here underneath my little sheep. Let's see what we can capture. Maybe a few white ones. Maybe a That looks like a pale green. One looks like white, one looks like pink. Uh, okay, let's put some blue on here.
right here is where I'd want it. Okay, let's see if we can get some pearls on here. There's one. Whoa, we don't want those to fall over. Heaven to Murgatroyd. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're pretty hard to handle. Just a little fidgety. I think I need a little, a little more glue. I think we need a little bit more. Oh. How do we like that? I think that looks pretty cute. I don't know if you can see it very well, but I'll lift it up and show you. There we go. Looks like a you know, the top of a, what are those called? Lazy Susan? Okay. And what else do we need? We need a butterfly over here. So what color do we want? Something this color? This is pretty. Has some flowers on it, but it's pretty. Mm, I don't know if I like that. I'm looking. That one looks pretty there. I need something here. I don't know what we're going to put there. I do like this one though over here. I do have to leave room for a candy wrapper though. I don't have a candy wrapper. All right. Now 
what in the world are we going to put over here? I wanted to put the circle somewhere. Oh, I think I want to put a little yellow on this texture paper. Yeah, that looks a little more cohesive to me. What do we have here? It's not even showing up. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Hmm. How about um, some of our vellum paper? Uh, maybe a maybe a, a dragonfly or a hmm. What about one of our people? She looks pretty lost in there. <laughs> I kind of like her there. I want to leave this white on the edge. Let's get a little bit more. See, it inks up real nice and everything. I think I'll just put her straight, but I'm going to put her here. I think in the next few days, I'm going to start making some um, wax seals so that I have some wax seals whoops, to use. I'll put it right here. this little birdie will fit on here. Oh, he barely fits. I'm going to use him. Alright. And I'm going to cut a big swipe, I think, of background. Here, let's just cut it off. So some of that coffee dye paper shows up. I hope it'll fit with this large of a margin. We'll see. I think I can take just a tiny bit off here. And a tiny bit off here. And it will fit fabulously
I am going to leave a little room over here for a candy wrapper. Let's see, I'm going to put it on like this. And I'm going to put him out here just like that. Do we like that? I'm going to put it down. I think I'll only put glue half of the way. And that way if I want to use it as a tuck, I can. And then I can use it like a tuck, like that, like this. Make sure it's down good so this guy will slip out okay. Okay, where's my lace? I want some lace. see that lace. I think I need bigger, bolder lace. <laughs> bigger and bolder. Just a piece. Maybe just a piece here. I think so. No, I think I might leave that piece there. Here I am changing my mind, guys. One little piece of this green under here, though. Oh, I like that. Wow, this is really looking gardeny, isn't it? Yes, it is, and I'm liking it a lot. Okay, I think that's where we'll stop for today. And if I put any more on here, I will definitely show it to you next time. And for now, I'm going to go ahead and say adios. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I hope to see you on the next video. Bye-bye.